Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. We are back with more Spaceborn 2. Last episode, we needed to go meet Molax. So, we gotta jump in the old ship. I did make a few weapon adjustments. Couldn't find really a decent beam weapon to upgrade, but I did find a couple of badass. Gatlin turrets. Those things kick ass. And let's see. I brought up my shields by like a thousand. So that was the old one. That's what came with the ship. The one on the left. The one on the right is the one that I bought. All kinds of good stuff there. So, you know, just a few upgrades here and there. Nothing big. But now we gotta... Landing gear attracted. Head on out here. And let's see. That's where we're currently at. And we gotta go to Alishat. So hold on. When we come back, we will be there. I'm just going to edit out all this extra jumping in between. So hold on a second. Whilst we jump. Because that's a hell of a run. Calibration Ooh. module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster in. There we go. That's a big old BC beefy ship, isn't it? Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna get something to control something like that here soon. That is a beast. We're not the only ones that are getting in, huh? Oop, there we go. Oh. Look who has graced my humble ship. Hello, Marax. It is good to see an old face. Likewise, my old friend. It must be our commander's son. Drain, really? I like the updated version. You look like you have a soul. Morax, you have new scars. You look like you have balls. Anyways, you know why we are here. Yes, Inca mentioned. You want to re-establish the WRA, and you have decided to recruit the remnants of the old team first. Yeah, so here's the thing. This guy's a real scumbag. Let's say he's got to prove it. Me worthy. First, let's see if you are worthy of being a leader first. After <laughs> all, these things do not happen with the monarchy. It's on your mind. There's a Pharaoh general, Kroll R, obsessed with me. We need to... You should know. His problem is not only... So he's, this guy's probably a big bad. all earthlings. You cannot organize as long as he is Something alive. nasty like that coming at us. He committed in a, a game massacre at the rate. Worldly Craftsmen Association lately. If he hears the WRA is reorganizing, he won't leave you alone. Actually, I'm doing you a favor right now. Oh, really? What a good person you are. Mm. Don't we find him? He's coming here. He thinks he'll catch us off guard, but we're one step ahead of him. For now, we will wait for him to come here, and the moment he gets here, we'll lure him into a trap, and you will help us to destroy him. You know, prey becomes predator, and now... What the fuck is that? Oh, what must is be your... So, Escape the ship, huh? Our ships are destroyed. What are we going to do? 
Don't worry. Just wait for my signal to leave that ship. Ink, let's go to your ship. I can help you with that fight. Warp away. Okay, we are. Let's see how you're going to help us with that fight. Fight that. Yeah, there's Just no way we can fight this. Calibration die. completed. Waiting for the thrust of input. Sorry, but Moliax is right. We can't fight with them. Sir, what are we going to do? We'll be fighting. I'm coming to rescue two, ship in one. a few minutes. By the way, let me introduce you to this brave general. Moliax. So, what do you think we should have done? Would it be better if we stayed and died? We could at least warn your men, so they have a chance to escape. You never understood human nature. That's why your commander is dead. If I had told my men they were going to die, they would have smashed us to pieces then. All right, folks. Well, I made a mistake. <laughs> I did a super long jump. I thought it was shorter than that. So, hold on. I'm going to have to jump back towards e Etonix, I think. Because there's not a way you can get out of this once you're in this. So, but what we can do real quick. Go over here to our town and see if we got six... Put that right there. Soldier, how many do I got? One attribute point for soldier. I'll we'll put that right there. So we learn him faster. Okay, hey, and then adventurers only got three. So until that gets up at least to five, there's no point. Yeah, hold on a second here, folks. I got a bit. Oh, no! No, we stopped. Okay. Hey, we are ready. Come to the Brian Planet attack system. Okay, the Brian Planet at E-Talk system. Where are we? We're not too far. Popped out over here. Yeah, all right. Hold on a second, folks. There should be a quick jump there. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. All right. We'll wait for our warp to cool off because then we need to go planet side. Navigation is online. We go. Meeting point. The surface align process is completed. Waiting for the thruster input. So this continually still makes me real nervous. You guys will see as we go in here to this planet. There's one thing I think he needs to definitely work on, but it's all good. We should get control a lot earlier than we get it. Well, that's obviously underneath, isn't it? Probably a good idea, though, I would think. Boop. 
Landing gear deployed. Is it? <laughs> Gotta go get into a hatch. Okay, so here is our new spot. Kind of empty looking. <clears throat> Got some spots to sleep. What's up, dude, from the old game? Can't talk to him yet. I would assume we'll be able to once we fire up the mission here. Start the meeting. What else have we got around here? Oh. We have a little water. Okay, time for the mission. Hello to everyone. For those who don't know me, my name is Cole. I am a technician. I set up the system I mentioned before. I also designed a communication interface where we can communicate with Earthlings. Now let me give a brief presentation of the system. Shut up, kid. Grown ups are talking. Oh no, douchebag. You ain't saying anything. Okay, uh -uh. bots. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Thank Who's you. Your daddy? But it is okay. This interface does not concern everyone anyway. I will make a special presentation for you after the meeting. First of all, we must determine a path for our organization. There are a few things I want to say about this. First of all, we should not be subordinate to a single leader. We should have an internal council where everyone has an equal say. Then we must change our policies towards non-earthlings. During my stay here, I saw that there is no race in the galaxy that is hostile to us. Only some leaders have spent us, to get stronger. Therefore, no race should be our enemy. We must be merciful to all races, to civilians, even to armies that see us as enemies. We must protect everyone who is with us or not. If we go down this road, we will gain the support of the entire galaxy, and the leaders who betrayed us have no choice but to listen to us. I believe we should learn from our mistakes and follow your father's footsteps. We must have a strong leader and a strong management team to be chosen by our leader. If we give every member of the organization a voice, we cannot advance even one step. I also disagree with Drain on our policy towards non-humans. After all, not every living thing on this planet is an angel. We must protect those who deserve it and punish those who do not. If we do not show mercy to those who see us as enemies, you will see that they will be afraid to fight us. And a feared enemy is always a simple prey. Drain is just bullshit, and we had tried Anchor's way before. As a result, we are meeting in the cave of a desolate planet. Yes, we need a leader. But our leader must be someone our followers will respect and fear. And every non-human creature in this galaxy is a monster. I've experienced this many times. And these creatures eat any living thing they are not afraid of. Therefore, we must first spread the fear they deserve throughout the galaxy. We must make this galaxy uninhabitable for them. As long as we exist, Everyone in the galaxy should sleep with one eye open. That's when those flamboyant leaders have to do whatever we want them to do. It's the only way to survive and bring this galaxy to its knee. So, the oh. last word is yours. Which way do you think we should go? Okay, so, we've got the pacifist way. Live in peace. Yeah, it's hard to generate income, and the number one thing you need in a war is income. We want justice. 
So yeah, proceed with fairness in your path without distinguishing any faction. So we don't go after any one faction. Yeah. Not to mention, I think in the first game we won by following this middle path. I think. I think that's what I did. Yeah, strong, weak in the diplomatic field, but strong in the military versus scorched earth. <laughs> if you follow Warhammer, the chaos version would be what you what they do in Warhammer. Now, vengeful earthlings, you want to make the galaxy pay. Uh, you must progress your path by destroying all ex extraterrestrials. Ugh. Yeah, people also will turn on you in a heartbeat. I think I know justice. It. Your father would be proud of you if he were here. Okay, let's repeat the same mistake. I'm starting to look for a suitable sewer for our Bitch, you can leave. Okay, here's your call. That's right. We can try the way again. I hope we don't end up the same. By the way, you should know that you can always change the main path of the organization from the Constitution interface. Ooh. But when you do this, you'll lose many of the followers you have gathered so far. So if you want to change your path, you better do it before our organization grows. So what that means is as soon as we get done with these guys talking to us, we save and we separate that save out and we don't touch it. So that if we have to come back and do a different way, well, we'll come back and do a different way. We need money and a safe base. Therefore, we must find ourselves a weak Star Lord and take their land from them. But to achieve this, we first need ships, soldiers, and pilots. We must find the Earthlings and expand our organization. Therefore, our first goal should be to create five units. For this, we need 25 pilots of soldiers. Go design the communication interface for this. I am calling out on the radio to the Earthlings to reach us. I'm sure we'll soon be able to reach out to Earthlings asking for our help. Any question? For now it seems safe here. When we have the power to protect our base, we can go above ground. Right. Any question? Uh, it shouldn't be hard to find earthlings scattered. Yeah, we're gonna have to cabins. use the mail system. I especially recommend checking the looking for pilots panel often. Any question? We An can do it by capturing bases in the galaxy. But first, we need a few battalions of soldiers and ships. Right, we got a long ways to Any go. Any question? Huh? What we now? must find the Earthlings and expand our organization. Okay, so we got to start with 20 Any new, question? 20 bodies. No, that's it. By the way, I made a communication interface where you can easily connect with the Earthlings. Please take a look. Gold, I think you should show us how to use new interfaces. Sure thing. Oh, yeah. Our new mail service is ready. You can view mails via the main interface or by clicking the mail icon in the upper right. Easiest way to do it is right here. Our mail. first mail has already landed in the inbox. To really? accept the tasks that come with the emails, you need to reply to them. Now reply to this mail and accept that mission. Hello, oh, I'm Mark. I came across your radio announcement. Right now, I'm extremely helpless. My fiance was kidnapped by the son of Martha, Lord of Karan. I applied to all official authorities, because I am a human, no one took that seriously. Please help me. Save my fans, fiancé from those thugs. If you do this, me and five of my friends are at your service until we die. I followed them for a long time and found that they are now on the planet Mephysis in the yalla -la -la system. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, so get 20 Earthlings to join the association. So we got to go into contracts. Mark Zarin, his contract. Track. It's expended. Oh, yeah, okay. So. All right. Now, can we talk to people in here now? See what they say? Oh, we can go back to a meeting table. Nope, doesn't work. Okay. Nope. 
Nope. Alrighty, folks. Well, we'll stop right there with the editing. Uh, episode will be, might be a little short, but I don't want to get into a big uh, mission-based here this late in the video. So, tune in next time when we start. We'll start right from here, from taking off. And we'll go do this mission set. So keep your heads down, your warriors of doom up and all. See you again real damn soon.